Welcome back! It's experiment number four, the isolation of eugenol from cloves. Uh, we got another fancy setup, so let's get started. Once again, here we go. Stir plate. Big heating mantle this time. And I have now a 500 milliliter three neck flask. We're going to need a stir bar. Don't drop it. It'll break the bottom. Slide it in the side. Very important, we must clamp nice and square. Make sure the finger is under the lip, nice and, <coughs> nice and secure. So we're gonna drop this down, get it in the middle. Little bit of wiggle room, just enough wiggle room that we can get that off if we need to in an emergency. And I'm oh, gonna need a stopper. Oh, here, I've got a stir and I find So this works best if you add half your hot water from the tap, tap water, because we're gonna boil it anyway. So if you start with hot water, life is easier. We got our 10 grams of clove powder and see it's stirring in there. The cloves tend to settle to the bottom and make the stir bar unhappy. So I like to have a little water first, then the clove, wash in the rest of the cloves. And this is a powder funnel. It's got a big hole. Don't try to use a skinny funnel to put a solid in. Use the powder funnel. There we go. Another stopper goes in. And once again, we have to assemble our distillation equipment. Still head condenser and this right angle, right turn thing called the vacuum takeoff. Careful, put on your rubber band. Whoopsie. Okay, there we go. Stretch. Gravity will hold that in place if the clamp is good. If you need a safety clamp here, you can put one, but you shouldn't need it. Remember again, keep your fingers close together when you put the thermometer in the holder. The thermometer bulb. Just below the point where it comes up and over. Cold water in the bottom. And out the top and into the sink and we will collect our product in this 250 milliliter flask it's always good to clamp these flasks it's so easy to just bump it and knock it over so position your clamp Secure, and we can just push that over a little bit and we'll just raise it up until the, our distillate will fall into there. Okay, the power for the heating mantle goes into the power supply. The power supply is plugged into the wall. We turn it on. I believe we're going to start about 60 or 70 at the 120 volt setting and uh, now we gotta wait we gotta wait for water to boil but that's why we started with hot tap water so we don't have to wait as long excellent there is your glassware setup and after 30 or 40 minutes you're gonna see something like this we've been boiling away and you can see a hundred and something degrees there thermometer in the correct position and we're starting to go dry so i better turn that off burnt cloves smell really bad this is where the safety feature being able to remove that heating mantle is so important but you can see here is our distillate you will be taking your distillate and doing a number of manipulations you will be doing a separation with this up funnel you will be extracting the milky oil of cloves out of here and remembering to spot your TLC plate the crude oil will be purified through a number of steps and then the final oil we spot the TLC plate again and prove that we have purified eugenol from oil of cloves 
Thanks for listening. See you in the lab.